Hi, everybody. It's Thursday, 9th of December, and uh, we will be starting today with a breathing exercise. And I've asked everyone to stand because this is a, a standing breath exercise. It's very heating, this exercise. It also helps to warm up the upper body. So as we're all standing, feet should be about hip width apart. Relax your arms and your shoulders. And first, we'll just get the neck moving. So let's nod, breathe in, lift your chin, and breathe out, lower the chin down to the chest. And again, we'll breathe in, lift the chin, and breathe out and lower down to the chest. That's great, everybody. Breathing in, lifting. Breathing out, lowering, keeping your arms relaxed, shoulders relaxed. And just notice as you do this, when you breathe in, you should feel a stretch in the throat. And as you breathe out, bringing the chin down, you should feel a stretch in the neck and maybe in the shoulders. Let's lift our chin. And now let's turn our head from side to side. So we come back to neutral, that's right. Turn your head from side to side. These movements are nice and controlled. And I like to do them now before every yoga practice I do. I've noticed a difference in my balance. And there have been students that have written to me saying they noted, notice a difference in their balance. It improves their balance when they move their head and neck at the beginning of yoga practice. Turn your head now to the right and let's do some rolling half circles to the left shoulder and then chain, go down and to the right shoulder and back again and change. And just go smoothly and calm, easy shoulder rolls. Bring your chin back down to center and lift your head up, perfect. We'll bring our head back to neutral now. Do a couple of shoulder rolls, lifting the shoulders up to the ears, rolling the shoulders back. That's it, good, Jean. Good, Catherine, I can see you as well. Excellent, just nice big circles to release. Good, relax your shoulders down. Now we're gonna take our hands and I want you to curl your fingers in and bring your thumbs over your knuckles, which by the way, for those of you who tend to bring their thumbs in, you know, sometimes we get our, our hands into a fist like this. I would be careful because there are a lot of tendons in the thumb and a very strong muscle and tendon here. And when we do this, we can create some tension and actually create a tendonitis. So we want to bring the thumb to the outside and let it rest here. Squeeze your hands gently. And the first breath, we're gonna breathe in and raise our arms in front of us. Breathe out, lower them down. We'll do that again. Breathe in, raise the arms. Breathe out, lower them down. Ideally, you're breathing in and out through the nose. And breathe out, lower them down. That's it. Again, breathe in and breathe out. This time we're gonna breathe in in two sets. We'll breathe in, bring the arms front and then out to the side. Now lower them down as you breathe out. Good, two sets, let's go. Breathe in, breathe in, and down, excellent. And again, very good, Natalie, breathe in. Breathe in, and bring them down. One more time like this, nice and strong. And bring them down. Now we do it at three levels, three sets of breath in. We breathe in one, bring the arms out two, and then over your head three. And bring the arms down gently. Good, make it dynamic, let's go. One, two, three. And bring the arms down, good. Now that you're used to it, really bring some energy into it. Let's go, breathe in one, two, three. And down, good. And again, breathe in one, two, three. And down, excellent, two more rounds. Let's go, breathe in one, two, three. Beautiful, everyone. Last round, let's go, breathe in one, two, three. Well done, very good. Step onto the front edge of your mat. From here, slide your hands down 
to just above your knees. Let your hips go back and you take a little bit of a bow spring position, which means your belly is long. Your hips sink back towards the back of the mat and you've got your shoulders wide. We're gonna take a deep breath in and curl even more and then breathe out, let's round. This is like a standing cat and cow. Breathe in and curl. Breathe out and round. Breathing in, curling. Breathing out, rounding. One more time, we'll curl and round. Coming back to a flat back and then let your hips go back a little bit more just to get a little contraction into the low back and a little bit more length to the belly. Bring your right shoulder forward, your left shoulder reaches back and you look over your left shoulder. Come back to center, the simple twist. Look over your right shoulder, left shoulder comes forward. Come back to center. And again, right shoulder forward, left shoulder back. To center, left shoulder and to center. One more time each side, just looking and bringing your right shoulder far forward. Excellent, back to center. Last time, look back and your left shoulder comes forward. Back to center. Now keeping your knees bent, keep your hips back, lift your chest even more. There's going to be a big contraction down in the low back. Open up the shoulders and raise your arms out in front of you. You can reach with your fingertips or you can curl your fingers into the little seat hand. We're gonna do a little squat and lift. This is gonna heat up the back body. It's gonna heat up the shoulders. You're gonna feel your low back working, but that is actually a good thing. We wanna get it curved. We're gonna go a little bit faster. Here we go, down, up, down, up, down, up. Get strong, another five, four, Three, two, and release. Come all the way up to standing. Good job. Step your feet in. The feet are about hip width. Toes are open, shoulders wide, chest lifted. Your knees are always soft. Always have your knees in a soft position. Hands come to your heart center. And we're gonna get moving, everyone. Take a deep breath in, raise your arms, stretch skyward. Then bring your elbows to knees and get into a deep squat and the hands come to the floor. Stepping back to a plank position, lift your head. Hold it here, three, two, one. Bring your knees down, open your hands. Now you can lift your feet if you wish. Let's just do one push up to start. Then move all the way down, pointing your toes, Hands under the shoulders, rise to a cobra. And bring your chest back down. Push up onto your hands and knees, just here. Right hand off the mat, left hand on top, press the hips back. Come back up, left hand off the mat, right hand on top, press your hips back. Back to center, taking down dog or crouching cat. Hold it here, three, two, one. Looking at your hands, begin stepping forward until you reach the front edge of your mat. Knees bent, hands to the thighs, lift the chest. Let's take a chair position and hold three, two, one. Come all the way up to standing. Arms stretched by your sides to get the triceps in action. Hands come back to your heart center, and we do that again, nice and slow. Deep breath in, we rise. Elbows to knees, coming right down. Stepping back to a plank position. Holding three, two, one. Knees come down, open your hands. Lift the feet if you wish, one push up. All the way down. Point your toes, hands under the shoulders, rise to a cobra. Come back up onto the hands and knees. This time bring your left hand off the mat, right hand on top, pressing back. 
Right hand off the mat, left hand on top, pressing back. Back to center, hands on the mat, take crouching cat or down dog. And we hold three, two, one, stepping forward. Bend your knees low, hands to your thighs, lift the chest, raise the arms, holding three, two, one. Up to standing, find the perfect posture, arms straight by your sides, good. Hands to your heart center. A Little bit faster and we'll take out some of the stretches. Deep breath in, rise. Elbows to knees. Plank position. Still hold your planks. Three, two, one. Knees come down. Open the arms. Lift the feet. One push up. All the way down. Hands come in. Cobra. Push back to down dog or crouching cat. We take out the side stretch. We hold here. Three, two, one, look to your hands, stepping forward. Bend your knees, hands to your thighs, come up into chair, holding three. Two, one, come all the way up to standing, arms stretched by your sides. Yes, hands to your heart center. Let's go again, deep breath in. Folding forward, stepping back to plank. I'm gonna come have a look. Excellent, Ivana, hold it, three, lift your head. Yes, good, Lisa. Two, excellent, Natalie. Lift your head, Gilles. Good, one. Move down in a push-up, opening up your hands. One push-up. Excellent, Jane. All the way down, point your toes, rising to a cobra. Good, push back to down dog or crouching cat. Well done, Katie. you're looking great. I'm glad you recovered, excellent. Holding three, two, hi, welcome, Helen. One. All right, everyone, step forward and take the chair. Three, good, two. Now we're gonna add on to this, making it a little bit more dynamic. Come up to standing, arms by your sides, hands to your heart center, let's go. Lifting up, deep breath in, elbows to knees, let's move down. Stepping back to plank. Okay, everyone, in plank, you can either hold it, or you bring right elbow down, left elbow down, right hand, left hand, woo! Bring your knees down, open your hands, do two push-ups now, let's go, one, two, bring your chest down, point your toes, rise up to a cobra, push back, down dog or crouching cat. Now here, we're gonna raise our right leg up, push it up, then bring it out to the side. The knee is bent out towards the right shoulder, back up behind you, swing it forward and stepping forward. Bend your knees low, hands to your thighs, coming up to a chair. Now from here, I want you to bring your hands to your heart center. Raise your right leg, the knee stays bent. Keep your hips back. Fold it forward to come into propeller pose. Your knee is up behind you, both knees bent. Rise back up to chair, set the foot down, and come to standing arm stretch by your side. Good, this is gonna heat us up, that's right. Hands to your heart center. Deep breath in, rise. Elbows to knees, coming right down. Stepping back to a plank position. This time it's our left elbow. Left elbow down, right elbow down. Reset your left hand, reset your right hand. Knees come down, open your hands, two push-ups, let's go. One, two, all the way down, cobra. Now if at any point any of this is too much for you, you can skip one of the exercises. Push back to down dog or crouching cat. Left leg comes up. I count on you guys to manage all of this. Left knee to left shoulder, back up to the sky, and step it forward, all the way forward to the front edge of your mat, knees bent, hands to your thighs. First, take the classic chair, then hands to your heart center. Raise your left knee up in front of you, knee bent. Staying in the chair, fold it forward, propeller pose. 
Then back up into the chair, set the foot down, come to standing arms by your sides. Let's go again, hands to the heart center. This time there'll be three push-ups. Deep breath in, fold it, elbows to knees. Stepping back to a plank position, right elbow down. You can do this with knees on the floor as well. Left elbow down, right hand down, left hand down. Knees come down, open your hands, three push-ups. You could do one or two, or you could skip them. All the way down, point your toes, let's take a cobra. Down dog or crouching cat. Right leg comes up, bring it to the right shoulder. Back up behind you, swing it forward. Stepping all the way forward, bend your knees, coming up into chair, hands to the heart center. Raise your right leg up in front, coming to propeller, hold. Back up in front, set the foot down, Come to standing, arms stretch straight by your sides. Good, last round, hand to your heart center. Deep breath in, let's go. Elbows to knees, go right down into plank position. Yes, if you'd like, left elbow down, right elbow down. Good, you, yes, Catherine, back up, left hand, right hand, bring your knees down, open your hands, push up. Three if you can. Manage it, be sure you're staying strong in your belly. Good, move all the way down, point your toes, rising up to a cobra, push back to down dog or crouching cat. Left leg comes up. You guys are doing amazing. Bring the left knee to the left shoulder. Nicole, excellent. Coming back up behind you, up, up, up. Good, swing it forward as far as possible. Good, Natalie, bend your knees coming into chair. Nice, Ivana. Yes, hands come to your heart center, everyone. Lift your left knee. Beautiful, Lisa. Yes, good, Nicole. Stay in a chair. Let it go behind you into propeller. Perfect. Yes, G. Keep your hands at your heart center. Good, good. Coming back up and into chair. And everyone, come to standing, straightening your legs. Bravo. Straighten your arms by your sides. Whew. Take a little step back just with the right leg. So we step it back. We're gonna keep the heel up. This is a shortened lunge, but it is called the high lunge position. Bring your hands at your, at your low back and just draw the tissues from the low back forward. Jane, this is gonna be really good for the low back. So your thumbs go into the low back. You draw the tissues forward and around. One more time. Grab a hole and draw all the tissues forward and around. Now, you can either keep your hands at your hips or you can reach your arms out in front of you, palms together, and you can even shoot your fingers like a, like a mudra. Bend your knees so that your hips move back towards the back heel. Now, what this does, stay there. What this does when our hips go back is it brings the femur bone into the hip socket it also activates the glutes as well as the thighs. It's a really beautiful position. If you want, you can just grab behind your thighs as well and feel, ah, the hamstrings are activated, which is something that does not happen in our natural lunges. We want them active. Arms straight out in front of you and we're gonna bounce here. Five, I know that was long. Four, get down, get down low. Three, yes, keep your chest lifted. Two, stay down. One, if it's too much with the arms in front of you, hands at the hips. And let's twist to our left, everyone, towards the left thigh. Twist, twist, twist. Hold it here, down low, hold it. Three, two, one. Twist back forward, release, step forward, find your perfect position, your perfect posture. Well done, everybody, good. Hands to your hips. Left leg steps back. Not a big lunge, okay? Not a lot of space between the feet. Left heel is lifted. Draw the tissues forward. All the tissues at the low back, just draw them forward. This is creating more space for your organs as well. Okay, from here, hands can stay on the hips. 
or arms out in front of you. Sink down like you're going to sit down on your left heel. Super challenging this position. I want you to hold it for a moment. Maybe you can grab behind your thighs and just see, okay, wow, everything's turned on back there. Holding, lift your chest a little bit. Low back is working too. Here we go, we're gonna sink down. Five, hips towards the back heel. Four, yes, looks great. Three, ooh. Two, stay down low and twist to your right as far as possible. Feel the waist working. Core muscles turned on. Lift your chest. Holding three, two, Yes, one, unwind and step forward. Whew. Good job. Hands come back to your hips. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. So from the front, it's the ankle on the thigh. The knee is a bit out to the side and pointing diagonally skyward. So keeping that, grab a hold of your elbows. Pull your elbows apart. You're going to Hold them there with your hands, but feel like your elbows are separating. This is amazing work for the upper back and the shoulders, keeping the shoulders healthy. Keep the chest lifted, sink down nice and low, using the legs, using the thighs, the glutes. Three, two, one. Unwind, release your arms. Hmm. Left ankle over the right thigh. Let the foot just hang in space. This time the left hand on top of the right. So the left arm goes on top and you grab the elbow right underneath. Pull your arms apart against your hands. Sink down low. This exercise can help to protect the shoulder joint as well. If you have any issues in the shoulder, this is gonna help by getting those shoulder joints healthy. Hold it here, set your gaze. Three, two, and one. Uncross, unwind. Ah, good. Hands to your hips. Let's bend our right knee, bring it out to the side. Let's do our, our tree pose. Ankle, heel higher than the kneecap or the inner thigh. Arms stretch skyward in a V position. Lift your ribs. The more you lift your ribs away from your hips, the more you create space for the organs to function properly. And that's where we can also have deep breaths to calm us down. Good. And also to make space for our back and our organs. Beautiful, bring your hands down onto your hips and lower the foot down. Well done, everyone. Let's do the other side. Left knee bends out to the side. Ankle, a little bit higher than the kneecap or the inner thigh. Raise your arms, stretching skyward in a V position. Raise the ribs away from the hips. Good, focus your eyes on one point. Doing great, everybody, three. Two, one, bring the hands back down. Well done, bring the foot back down. Good, come back to the front edge of your mat. Hands at your heart center. Take a deep breath in, let's rise. And we'll fold elbows to knees, coming right down. Step back to your plank position. Okay, everyone, in the plank, Either let's bring the right knee down and you raise your left arm. This is gonna support the back as well as the, as well as the hips if you need it. Or you could just spin both feet, have both feet straight. Look up to your left hand. Keep lifting your hips, feel the side body working. Keep breathing here. Three, two, good job. One, bring the left hand down. Bring your knees down, everyone. Sink back and set your left hand off the mat, right hand on top, and we stretch the right hand side of the body. We just worked. Good job. Coming back up, 
Bring your hands back down under your shoulders. Retake your plank position. We'll do the other side. You can either lower the left knee or you could spin on both feet. Holding here, keep the hips lifted. Use the side body. And we're looking up to the right hand, holding three. Stay there. Two. And one. Bring the hand back down. Good job. Bring the knees down. Right hand off the mat, left hand on top. Push your hips back. Left hand side of the body stretching out. Well done, everyone. Coming back up, reset your hands underneath your shoulders and simply walk your knees back until you can get down onto your belly. Hands under the forehead. Move your hips from side to side to let go. Good. Okay, this next exercise can be super good for the low back. However, if you have any low back issues, don't go very far. Go as far as it feels comfortable, but please don't push into it. So we're gonna open up our legs and we'll bring our feet together so the toes touch, big toes touch. Arms come out to the side and we place the hands down to either side of the mat. First side, we're gonna lift the right side. So we push with our right hand into the floor and we roll so that the, the right knee comes up off the floor. Turn your head and you can look up towards the sky. If you're feeling too much in the low back, just don't go so high. You could just lift a little bit the right hip. We hold here and look to the sky, breathing deeply. Ideally, tongue is in home position. And we'll come back to center. Hands come underneath the forehead. Keeping your knees bent, let your feet rock from side to side. Other side, arms go wide. Left hand presses into the floor to lift your left side. Left knee comes far up. You can look towards the sky. Holding here. Good, keep the knees wide, toes touching. Keep breathing, tongue in home position. Two. Good, and one. Roll back onto your tummy. Hands under the forehead. Let your feet rock from side to side. Good job. Stretching your legs out onto the floor. Keep the feet down now. We're gonna raise the head, chest, and shoulders and reach the hands out in front of us. Swing the arms around like you're swimming breaststroke, bringing the arms down by your sides, and then bringing the chest down and reach the arms back out in front of you. Bring them out, down by your sides so the hands come to the upper thighs, and then you bring the chest back down, reach the arms back out in front. Let's do it another five times. Five, four, keep the belly long. If it's too much to do five more, you can rest now. Three, two, and one. Hands come under the forehead and relax. You can let go of the neck, the upper back, the shoulders, the arms, and the low back. Lifting your head, lift your chest away from your hips. Bend your knees and flex your feet. Reach your hands behind you now to touch your heels. Lift up the head, chest, shoulders, and the knees. Squeezing the glutes, use the back body to lift and not your legs. Holding three, two, one. Come on down, hands under the shoulders, push up onto the hands and knees. Walk your knees forward a little bit, swing your knees to one side, and let's come to a seated position, everyone. Seated position. 
Soles of the feet together, knees wide. Lift up through the chest. And if you find that you're rolling back onto your glutes, that you're not on your sitting bones, either you push your feet farther forward or roll up the back of your mat, come up onto a heightened position, or use a pillow. This is important to be on our sitting bones here so that our low backs don't round out, okay? You can even feel that. If you round your low back, you're gonna feel that you're rolling onto your glutes. You don't wanna be there. You wanna be on the bones, on the two pointy bones. Those are the ischion. On those two pointy bones while you're sitting in this position, okay? Take a deep breath in, and as you breathe out, lean forward, getting the inner thighs to open and stretch. Go as far as is comfortable for you. It's, it's not a competition, okay? And you wanna just feel that, all right, you've got a stretch going on in different places, inner thighs, maybe the glutes, maybe a little bit below back. Breathe deeply with what you feel. Be sure you never go into any pain, please. Lifting back up, let's stretch our right leg out in front of us. The foot points skyward, the knee points skyward, and I want you to contract the front of the thigh. This makes it an active stretch. Front of the thigh contracting, knee is, is contracted around the knee, and the heel of the foot is lifted up off the floor. Hands behind you, push against your hands to stretch forward, keeping the heel lifted off the floor. If you contract well the front of your thigh, your heel will come up a little bit, like maybe a half a centimeter or a couple millimeters. Hold, three, two, one, good. Release, now point your toe, you're going to bring the left knee down into the floor, your left hand down to the floor, and raise your hips up. So we push the hips up to the sky, the knee is pushing down, you're arching the spine, let your head go back if it's comfortable, let your hips really rise up high, and we hold three, two, one. Come on back down, and we'll change sides. Left leg out in front of us. Left toes pointing up to the sky. Right foot against the thigh. Now contract the front of the leg so that the heel comes up off the floor. Active, active stretch. Lift through the chest and lean forward a little bit. Keep the activation in the leg. Holding three. Two. That's great. One, release, you can point the toes. You press your right knee down, right hand on the floor behind you and raise the hips up. Push the hips up to the sky. Let the arm go back behind you, get an arch in the spine. Hold it here. Three, two, one, releasing down. Good job, everyone, good job. Bring your knees bent and we're gonna roll onto our backs very slowly and gently. Walk your feet away, hamstring bridge. Knees are slightly bent, heels pressing into the floor. The head is down, lift your hips up. Pulling your heels towards you. Now, for those of you who want a little bit more of a kick, you lift your right knee, then bring it back down. Lift your left knee, you're still pulling your heel towards you. Bring it back down, right knee, back down, left. One more time each side. Yeah, I see those legs moving, good job. Last one, woo, bring the hips down. <sighs> Step your feet in and get the soles of your feet together, knees wide. Lengthen out your belly, press the soles of your feet together, and lift your hips up. Now the advantage of this position, not only does it work our thighs, our glutes, a little bit the inner thighs, it also works the perineum. So you wanna feel the perineum contracting and lifting. 
all right? So you lift it up into the lower belly, all the perineal muscles, and we press here, lifting higher, 10, nine, eight, press the feet towards each other, seven, six, five, four, three, two, lift up as high as possible, one, and bring the hips down. Ah, good. Separate your feet hip width. Elbows into the floor. Now, after those two bridges, you're gonna feel that you've got a lot of strength and power in your legs. Lift your hips up now. Half bridge pose. You could hold it here. Or if you'd like to take full bridge, set your hands now, come to the crown of your head and all the way up into full bridge. Or if you'd like, step your feet in a little bit and raise your right leg and hold. Keep breathing. If you're in full bridge, you could also raise your right leg. Just don't hold as long and switch. Switch perhaps already now if you're in full bridge. Half bridgers, let's switch. With the opposite leg, hold it. Good, stay with it. Three, two, one. Good job, bring the foot down. Everyone comes to half bridge. Raise your arms over your head and very slowly lower the back onto your mat. One vertebra at a time. Oh, that feels good. All the way down. And then from here, keeping the arms over the head, open your feet as wide as your mat. Let your knees fall to your right, pushing the left knee away from you and away from your arms. Lifting one knee at a time, we change sides. Let the knees fall to your left. Pushing your right arm away from you. Deep breathing. One knee at a time, we rise back up. Good job. Let's bring the knees gently to the chest. Rock a bit from side to side to let go. We're gonna be working the abdominals now and the core muscles. If at any point you start to feel your low back, back off the exercise and just rest rocking from side to side in this position, okay? All right, keep your knees bent. Let's roll to the right-hand side, all the way over. Bring your right arm out in front of you the left leg, the top leg stretches out. The right knee stays bent for the moment. You're on your right hip. Left hand comes behind the head so that you are supporting the head and neck. We're gonna be working the oblique muscles and the side muscles, which are the major supporting muscles for the low back. It also helps to trim the waist. So see if you can get your belly long and your belly button in. Let's take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, bring the elbow and knee towards each other. You can push on the elbow on the floor if you want, just a little bit. Stretch back out. Let's go. Five, stretch the leg back out. Four, really contract the side body. Three, that looks great. Two, here's the last one. Now we take a little break, take a little break and decide whether you're gonna do it the next five with one leg or with both legs. Both legs stretched out, you're balancing on the hip. Take a deep breath in and let's go. Five, both knees, if you want, or one, four. Breathe out as you lift. Three, good. Two, woo, here's the last one. Aye, 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 good. Bend the knees, roll onto the back, Turn your head from side to side to release the neck. Good job. Now we're gonna do the other side. Let your knees now fall to your left. Left arm stretched out in front of you. 
Right leg stretched up in the air, pointing the toes. Right hand behind the, the head to support the neck. Belly is strong, belly button in, but you keep it long. Ready? Deep breath in. Breathe out, we lift. Elbow and knee. Five. Four. Three. Two. Here's the last one. Take a break. Decide whether you're going to do it with one leg or maybe both stretched out. Here we go. Five. Breathing out as you lift. Good. Here we go. Three. Two. Stay with it. One more. Woo. Good job. Bring your knees bent. Roll back onto your back. Turn your head from side to side to release. Good job. All right. Raise both legs to the sky. Hands behind your head. Open your elbows. Here's our classic abdominal work. You know this. Everybody here knows this. Super strong. We don't have to do very many. Bring your right leg hovering just above the floor. If it's too much, bend your knees. Okay? Here we go. Lift the head and shoulders. Ten. Breathing out. Nine. Eight. Seven. Oh, it feels good. Six. Five. Getting ready for Christmas. Four. Keep it up. Three, two, one. Let's switch the legs. Ay, ay, ay. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight. Breathe out a little bit as you lift. Six, five, four, three, two. Here's the last one. Ah, knees to the chest. Woo. Good. Rock from side to side. Well done, everyone. To release our abdomen a little bit, bring your feet back down, and we're going to take a little bridge pose once again. Lift the hips up. This helps to release the abdomen. You can have your arms stretched by your sides. Take three deep breaths. Perfect. Bring your hips back down. Let's cross the right ankle over the left thigh. Raise both legs up, grab around the legs, and pull the knees towards the chest. You've done a really good job, everyone. Bravo. If you'd like to add in the back of the left leg, just stretch the left leg straight, flexing the foot. We already had a nice stretch of the hamstrings, but here we're just adding on if you'd like. The more you flex your foot, the more you get into calf. Rebend the left knee, place the left foot down, and we're going to take an open twist. The open twist stretches more the abdominals. So let the right knee go out to the right hand side, and stretch your left arm out to your left. Turn your head to look at the left hand. Breathing deeply, see if you can just relax the abdominal muscles, especially the side. And maybe raise your left arm over your head now. Reach farther behind you and you should feel it's increasing the length and the stretch through the rib cage and down to the hip. Now we're gonna pull the abs in and lift the legs. Keep the legs crossed as they are. Right ankle over the left thigh. Now we do a closed twist. Let your knees fall to your left. Turn your head to the right. Feel the difference how it goes more into the low back. If you feel any pain, please don't go far. Now we're going to roll all the way to our left hand side. So you just lift your right arm, then grab your right ankle and push the right knee behind you to stretch the quadriceps. That's it. Good. 
If you push the knee behind, you even get into some of the hip flexors. Bring the right knee to the right shoulder and roll back onto your back. Crossing the left ankle now over the right thigh. Lifting both up, grab around, pull the knees towards you. If you'd like to add on the back of the right leg, straighten the right leg, flexing the right foot. Deep breaths. Good, bringing the right foot back down to the floor. Let your knees fall to the left. So it's your left thigh that's up. You bring your left thigh to the floor. Right arm out to the side. Hold, this is the open twist, open twist. Lift your knees up and we'll let the knees fall to the right hand side. Bring your left arm out and you're in a closed twist now. Again, you'll feel it more in the back. If it's too much, you can back off the twist just by lifting up the legs a little higher. Now we'll roll all the way onto the right hand side. Right elbow into the head. Grab a hold of your left ankle and push the knee behind you. Holding this stretch, you should feel it right down the front of the leg. Bringing your left knee back to the left shoulder, roll onto your back. Then let's take a happy baby pose. Grab either behind your thighs, around the ankles, or at the soles of the feet. Rock a bit from side to side to relax the low back. Rebend your knees, lift your head, nose between the knees, lowering the head gently. And let's stretch one leg at a time out onto the mat. Allow your feet to roll outwards towards the outer edges. Bring your hands to your belly now. And as you breathe in, see if you can find your belly expanding, but without pushing down. Be sure you don't push down. You just get a little expansion. And you breathe out and there's a small release. You breathe in, you get a little expansion. You breathe out and there's a small release. Now this is important as when you breathe this way, you're actually moving your organs without pushing downwards. This is super important not to push down. We want to keep the perineum strong and lifted. One more breath, just like this. And then bring your arms to your sides, turning the palms to the sky. Bring your attention now to your feet and your legs and relax them completely.
your hands and your arms and relax them completely. Your hips, your low back, your lower abdomen and your tummy. your chest and your upper back. Now your shoulders and especially all around the shoulders, front, tops, backs of the shoulders, relax them and let them go. the neck, the throat, and the jaw. All of the muscles in the face, relaxing and softening, becoming smooth. Bring your attention now to your bones and feel as if your bones are heating up, becoming little radiators inside your body, radiating heat. And heat radiates out into the muscles and to the skin. Imagine now the organs in the body becoming soft, and clean like white clouds inside and functioning perfectly. Feel as if the circulatory system becomes rivers of light and it sends light to every single part of your body. A healing white light. Take a few more deep, slow breaths in and out. See if you can have the belly just move just softly, just gently rising up and down.
and begin moving your fingers and your toes. Good. Raise your arms up over your head and stretch from fingers to toes. That's right. Gently raise your knees up against your chest. Good. And rock from side to side. Stretching your right arm to your right ear. Roll to your right hand side, pushing up from the side, come to a seated position. And let's rub our hands together, raising the energy in the hands and the warmth and bring that energy and warmth against the face. You can tap gently around your eyes, shake out. Let's do that one more time. Raise the energy and the heat and bring it over your face. Tap around the eyes and shaking out. Hands at your heart center. Fantastic. Everyone have a lovely afternoon. Thank you for joining. Namaste. Good job, everybody.